YouTube man, it's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video here. Ah, we got another update for the channel. I'm assuming we got another cardboard box here. Uh, she's wrapped up in plenty of tape. Um, can't remember what's in this box. I just know it is from Sky High Car Audio. Um, this is probably one of those deals where I probably should have cut it open to make it easier for the video. I uh, gotta stop slipping on that, but uh, nevertheless, we have an update on the channel. Uh, we did just do uh, an unboxing on uh, those Tepano uh, Super Tweeters that you can kind of see back there. Might be a little blurry, uh, but that's not the focus of this video. Uh, this one here is the contents of what's in this box. And <laughs> yes. Definitely got another cardboard box, man. Um, probably gonna take me a minute to get this stuff open here, man, but y'all know the deal. Uh, pretty much anytime I get something in the lab, we go ahead and do a video on it because why not? Um, pretty much everything that you see me unboxing at this point uh, is for the 2022 build. But let's go ahead and get this box out of all that plastic wrap. I don't know why they put that on there. Uh, but let's pop the top on this sucker and just see what I got myself into on this one. All right, looks like I got some wire in there. So yeah, I know the deal, man. Pretty much anything that I unbox on here might, may or may not be in the title of the video. I don't know, but um, yeah. We got some Sky High Car Audio wire. So I think what I did on this now that I'm Remembering, because y'all know how I do, man. I'll order this stuff and set it in the corner for a while. Mess around, forget what I bought. Um, I believe the deal on this, I had all this DS18 equipment as far as uh, the EXL six and a half, uh, the EXL 10 inch, uh, or not subs, but 10 inch uh, speakers. Uh, so I had burned up so much wire uh, using all those uh, speakers that I decided to go ahead and get some more. But Let's get to this nice little piece right here in this plastic wrap and see just what the heck is this. And y'all know how I feel, man. I get it. I totally love that they do this uh, to protect the product that's in here. Uh, but I hate the tape on the bubble wrap because it's kind of hard to get it off of there. And then, you know, with me being the guy that I am shipping stuff out, sometime I'll mess up the bubble wrap and I'm seeing this is my RCA distribution. So take a look at that, man. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they got a slam pan in the amp lab, got something going, man. But this is uh, my RCA distribution. Uh, this is two in uh, to the four inputs over there, man. So um, let me get this stuff out of the box, get a more in-depth look at this. Uh, for you guys because this was another reason why i purchased this is i actually wanted to get a look at it for myself uh so let me get these contents out of the box and then we'll do a more in-depth look at this rca distribution here all right y'all so we went ahead i just went ahead and pulled everything out of the box uh apparently what i ordered like i said a bunch of more sky high car audio wire uh this is obviously oxygen free copper uh looks like we got a bunch of 12 gauge on that um but i know i don't know me personally i ordered this thing here because i'm going to be running a good deal of amps this year uh so this is the type of joker that has two going in the front yeah let me flip that back up hopefully y'all can see that man uh amp lab and slam panda uh apparently it's called the slam box <laughs> i didn't know that but i'll take it uh but I, two of these i believe these top two here go to the first four and the second to go to the rear four. So basically what I'm trying to do on this, the reason why I ordered this is because um, some of these amps are gonna have a higher frequency 
and I may or may not set the crossovers at the head unit. And just in case I decide to do that, I want to make sure uh, that the super tweeters, uh, horns and things like that are all set on the proper frequencies. And then the, uh, the amps that are probably going here to the rear um, will more than likely be those, um, that huge magnet that you can see the picture of back there. Uh, the 12 inch mid bass speakers I might have some 10 inch speakers, <laughs> some eight inch speakers and stuff like that, man. So, uh, we'll figure that out, figure that out as it goes along. And pretty sure these are magnets. I think I, let me see. I think I can pull this off of here and I can. So this um, right here will obviously be where I mount uh, the piece. And I guess you put the, these are, I think these are Neo magnets on here. Uh, so I can go ahead and put the magnets down, uh, go ahead and mount this down in the car or whatever, uh, probably to a piece of wood and get this mounted down here. So y'all see all those wires in there. The red wires are the connections. And then there's a blue wire in there. I think that's kind of connects the, I don't know, maybe the left and right. We'll, I'll figure it out. Like I said, I. I ordered this a while ago, haven't looked at it. I need to do a more in-depth look uh, as far as all of that tangled up in there and figure out where all that goes. But yeah, pretty nice piece of equipment here. Um, boom, yeah, y'all see that? So it has the little Neo magnets, super strong, super nice little piece, man. So uh, we'll get that going and I'll just set this off to the side somewhere. Um, another thing we ordered, this good old 18 feet of the Sky High Premium RCA cable. Uh, so we got this going this year. Uh, probably, I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do on this. Probably use it on the sub box, but we'll figure, or the subwoofers, but we'll figure that out. And we'll set that off to the side as well. And just normal, good old 12 gauge OFC. Um, hopefully y'all can see that down there. I know it's rather small, but that might be a better look. Good old 12 gauge OFC wire. Um, I thought I had some 10 gauge in here as well. Let me see this, yeah, this gotta be 10 gauge right here. Yep, I'll say that's a little bit thicker. Uh, so hopefully, I know it's gonna get real ugly. Where is she at? So yeah, so we got the OFC uh, 10 gauge, OFC 12 gauge. Uh, like I said, man, I had, I still got a ton of that wire, but I had burned through a lot of it uh, when I was putting in uh, the DS18 EXL six and a half and the DS18 EXL 10 inch speakers. So uh, got all that going. Uh, like I said, still got a lot of that wire, but I don't know, maybe it's an OCD thing. I don't know if I'm officially have that or whatever, but um, I like to start fresh. If I'm doing a quote unquote fresh project, I like to have fresh equipment. So uh, hopefully all of this I, will work out here. So yeah, I know I've been saying I've been feeling generous lately and I got a bunch of stuff. Like I said, man, I got a bunch of stuff on this table here. This table is probably half a plank of, uh, quarter inch uh, MDF or three fourths, uh, three quarters of uh, MDF. And then I got a whole, the whole other half of the table over there with so much stuff on it. So let me cut this video, show y'all what kind of mistake I made. And we'll go from there, man. Just a moment, let me grab something right quick. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, like I said, man, I kind of made a mistake. I don't, well, I'll say this. I was chilling today, that stupid cell phone in my hands, man. And I messed around, hopped on Facebook and Marketplace hopped up with like Pioneer Radio for the low. I was like, okay, Pioneer Radio, dual radio. Y'all know I've been trying to, I've uh, been talking about maybe setting up a test area uh, down here, or maybe just a test bench or just something uh, different from what I'm, used to as far as having a car audio head unit down here so i've seen that post and uh, i hit up the seller and was like yo uh, is this thing still available the guy responded immediately was like man if you're trying to get it um you know we'll tighten you up right now i was like okay cool 
Um, I can come right now. Got the money in hand. Let's get it going. And yeah, so I ended up with this thing here. Not a bad head unit, y'all. It's just, I went and bought it. It was an impulse buy. I immediately had buyer's remorse when I got back in the car and started driving back home. I'm like, wait a minute. What year was that stereo made? Does that stereo have Bluetooth? Does that stereo even have an aux cord? I would have been each elite and static to have this thing 2005-ish. Um, but I believe, uh, where are you at? Manufacturing date, October 2003. The first time I seen Bluetooth, I believe was 2005. Uh, so this might have been a little early. Uh, like I said, man, if you'd have gave me this, probably 2005, um, obviously 03, 04, something like that, man, I'd have been ecstatic to have this uh, due to the fact that it would have been an ish at that time. It's 2021, man. This thing is almost 20 years old. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and bought a Pioneer head unit. Um, like I said, man, it was an impulse buy, so... Since I went ahead and abused myself like that, like, don't get me wrong, I didn't pay too much of anything for this. Um, at the end of the day, it could be a collector's item. I don't know. Uh, depends on the people. Uh, some people are in the car audio like me. Um, you got those old school guys out there. Somebody might see this and say, hey, man, I'll take that off your hands. It'll go from there, man. But since I screwed up with buying this and I've been feeling generous, I'm gonna move that Pioneer head unit out the way and slide these in the way. These are the DS18 uh, Pro TW20, or yeah, TW320.8 uh, Super Sweeters, man. These things, I bought these, I think it was it back in July. I did an unboxing video on them. I believe it was July 15th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they're not even two months old brand spanking new uh, I know I was tripping when I bought them because this one was damaged on the box uh, This one wasn't so Let's go ahead and pop the top on those jokers man These are one amazing pair of super tweeters, man. So brand spanking new. Um, I believe they're 250 watts RMS. Still got the literature and the boxes. Um, but let's go ahead and do this. I'll fold that back down there. And we'll put that in the face. RMS 250 watts. Max is 500. Don't care about that. 8 ohm impedance, uh, so you could bridge these down to a 4 ohm load. Sensitivity 107 dB, man. So these things get extremely loud. Uh, frequency range uh, 1600 to 20. I would definitely set them up higher than that. Uh, I would probably start those off at me personally, probably 5k and up. Matter of fact, let's get the box out on this one. I was gonna see if DS18 had a recommended, um, pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Recommended high pass crossover, 2K. So DS8, even DS18 is saying 2K. I, me personally, I'm saying even higher than that. Um, since they recommend 2K, I would probably go four. But uh, the reason why I have these back in front of y'all uh, like I said, man, I went ahead and made an impulse buy today uh, with getting that Pioneer head unit. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the thing. I don't know if I'm just going to actually end up using it, uh, letting it sit around here and see what happens, man. But my loss, your game. I'm going to go ahead and give these DS18 Super Tweeters away, man. Uh, like I've been saying, been feeling real generous. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Hopefully these will get to your door. I don't care if you've been around forever. I don't care if you've been around for 10 minutes. These can come to your house. That's all there is to it. Check this out. I think I'll go ahead and run this giveaway. We'll do that. I'll go ahead and run the giveaway till uh, Friday, October 1st. Um, 
maybe 7 p.m. I, I usually like to do something like that, uh, probably like Friday, October 1st, or might just say, you know what, Friday, October 1st, and maybe the October 2nd, October 3rd, something like that, I'll announce the winner. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let the giveaway run uh, till Friday, October 1st. Once again, my y'all, these are brand spanking new. Uh, never seen power, never hooked them up, none of that. Uh, they just been sitting around. Uh, I think I said in the previous video, I got a bookshelf of DS-18 equipment uh, just laying around, man. So will I use it? Maybe, maybe not, but I'm definitely not gonna end up using these. Uh, so I'd rather send them out to somebody that will. So let's do this. We'll go ahead and do the giveaway. It'll run from the time that this video is uploaded to October 1st. We'll just do the whole day. I'm not even gonna do the 7 p.m. thing. We'll just do the whole day. Uh, it could be till midnight or whatever. This is the deal. And this is gonna be CST, Central Standard Time. So, if this video gets 500 views by October 1st, 500 likes by October 1st, and 500 comments by October 1st, <laughs> I'll go ahead and get these out to somebody's door. So, I'm gonna take a page out of the JP down for sale. He's always going live on Facebook, showing some product and saying, hey, you know, let's give this stuff away if we can reach X amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick to the 500 views, 500 likes, 500 comments. All you have to do is comment on this video, hashtag ears bleeding. I got all of this stuff back here um, that's basically for vocal reproduction. Granted, you might see some mid bass back there, uh, but a lot of this stuff that you see in front of you is for vocals. These are clearly uh, for the vocals and the higher frequencies, you know, your hi-hats, things like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and comment, hashtag ears bleeding and a number of one to 2,854. I'm currently at 2,854 subscribers. Uh, so if by any chance everybody watched this video, uh, let's go ahead and comment um, hashtag ears bleeding. I'll go ahead and put it in the, in the description uh, so everybody will be clear on it. Um, and any number from one to 2,854. Uh, so go ahead and get on that, man. I feel like giving some stuff away. Like I said, man, I feel like being generous right now. Um, Y'all know if you've been watching the channel, the last video, uh, MVX came through, uh, shout your boy, or they gave me a discount code. So y'all go ahead and get on that, MVX.com, Audi 15. Uh, you get 15% off anything on the website, $25 and up. Uh, free shipping on orders, $50 and up, man. So uh, get on that, shout out to MVX. Thank y'all for um, coming through. We had that, we got that agreement. Uh, so since I've been blessed, let me go ahead and pass it on down the lane, man. Go to MVX, MVX.com, Audi 15, 15% off anything, $25 and up. Uh, but as far as this right here, uh, you got some DS18, uh, TW320.8 bullet super tweeters, man. Hashtag ears bleeding, 500 likes, 500 comments, uh, 500 views, October 1st, 1 to 2854. Go ahead and get on that. These could come to your door, man. Y'all know the deal. Any questions, comments, concerns? I try to get back to everybody, man. Everything's picking up. I'm excited. I'm happy. Uh, hopefully, I can get these to your door. Uh, just go ahead and make sure that we get these views up. And somebody's going to be a lucky winner, man. Y'all know the deal. 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. But <laughs> that new thing we just got right there, uh, those new driver horns, those Neo speakers, those. Horns, drivers, mid bass, the whole nine. Two zero two two. Somebody's ear is going to be bleeding for doggone certain. So we'll say it again. Two zero two two. If your mirrors ain't taken, damn it, you got to take it, man. It's your boy, Young Dub. Y'all have a great A week. Uh, stay positive, man. Spread some love, spread some blessings. Uh, hopefully, I'll get these off to your door, man. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. Hey everybody, it's your boy Young Dub here, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just know that your thumbs are appreciated. Make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll see the videos when they pop up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the best unboxing videos in car audio, man. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.